Canon receives around 200,000 requests for technical support across Europe every year. If your DSLR goes wrong, there's a chance it may end up here. Today we're at the Canon Service Centre in Elstree in Hertfordshire to give you an exclusive behind the scenes look at an operation which handles around 150 parcels a day. The products that we focus on at the service centre in Elstree is largely the professional range of products. Now for us that means from a 70D upwards, although we do receive uh, cameras right the way through the range. It's largely a repair service that we provide here, but a lot of the work that we do is centred around things like sensor cleans and also adjustments. Photographers who will use their equipment as a tool for the job, it gets banged, it gets knocked, it gets dropped, and so therefore occasionally things do need to be readjusted. For customers dropping cameras in for repairs, we aim to turn around all cameras within eight days. Uh, however, with the Canon Professional Services membership, you get a prioritised uh, service turnaround time. Now for Platinum members, that means two days. For Gold members, it's three days, and for Silver, it's five. In terms of challenges for repairing cameras, uh, we get cameras in all kinds of conditions. Sometimes they've just simply been dropped, sometimes they've been for a swim, we've had lenses that have been sat on by elephants, uh, and we even had a lens that was infested by red ants. Uh, but those are rare cases. In order to train a technician, it depends largely on their background. We tend to take people with a, a, any pre-existing electronics background. Uh, for someone who's just a, a college leaver, someone who's left with an electronics qualification, it would take around six to nine months to follow through the, the entire training program. But actually our technicians, the majority of them have been doing a similar job uh, for Canon for about 30 years. So it's one of those roles that just develops uh, and you learn as you go along. There's always something new to learn in this, in this environment. 2016 promises to be a busy year for photography with the Photokina trade show in Cologne set to take place later this year. No doubt some of those cameras may end up here. Let's hope not too many of them. For more news and reviews, check out the AP website. Thanks very much for watching.